Greetings everyone, my name is Kovim and welcome to this basic particle and trap call tutorial. It is basic because people have requested it and I have been <coughs> asking myself or wondering what type of particles or trap calls you want to see. So I'm starting off with basic stuff, alright? Don't expect complicated things, but this is just the things I do in my way. Now, as you can probably hear out of my voice, I am dead sick. I caught the flu and within my whole family, but <laughs> I hope that I can, you know, achieve my torture s somewhat because this is really a bad idea. What the flu hasn't taken away from me is uh, probably my stupidity because I wouldn't be here without it. So I hope you got something to drink. Um, Sit back and relax. I got some nice tea. Okay, so let's get started. I'll, I will start adding a plane and scaling it up, rotating it a little bit di uh, diagonally and moving it down. Just because then the particles will rise up and what in some weird way. Um, I'll give this a particle system and a halo material, the size, some, about, like, whatever you want to use as a size, hardness is your choice as well, but I don't know, do what you want. I set the number to, like, uh, depending on how long the intro goes, uh, is seven, wait, there we go, um, but usually for 10 seconds I probably would use something like 400. Wait, <laughs> okay, so start somewhere like around minus 100, so already uh, the particles are already in the scene when the intro starts, and end of course, uh, like when your intro is gone or something. You want to set the emitter geometry to something about like 5 or 4, and turn this in render the emitter off, so the plane itself uh, with the four vertices won't be visible which is very um, important, not really, but it's better. Gravity to zero, of course, so the particles float up. Why are they not floating up? Well, there we go. And then I can rotate this a bit more. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, the particles here are dying too early, so I'm going to increase the lifetime by a lifetime. No. So basically, if you have the lifetime like too far up, and the camera, let's say, is f looking up to the stars, uh, you will see that the particles basically just stack, and you'll see like a crap ton of them. So you want to make sure that they'll die early enough, as morbid as that sounds. Okay, wait, let me... Basically, what you have here, if I bake this, let's bake some nice cookies. Um, you'll have some moving particles, right? Like basic, everybody knows that, I hope, I think. And this is actually pretty cool. I think those are way too many particles, but I don't care. So this is actually pretty basic, this is pretty cool, but... You know, what I always like to do as well is I give the emitter object a random value, something like 2, so as, as you can see, they're already like spazzing out and moving on their own. But what you have to know is that... Um, like the radius increases when they're like they're spreading out basically and uh, how you could fix this is either giving it more like particles and more numbers or you just ignore it like i do as you can see it it's it gives it like more of a dynamic effect in my opinion and that is basically how i do my stuff now moving on to the basic trap code I am literally an idiot. What I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna start adding a plane, um, scaling it up, moving a little bit down, and then I will subdivide this like 10 billion million times. Uh, no, just until we have 263,000 vertices where you can see the top there. 
Um, and then I'm gonna give this another halo. That is not a halo material. There we go. And I'm gonna give go to modifiers tab and give this a displace. So as you can see, uh, this displace does wonderful things if you give it actually a texture. Now I'm gonna use the clouds texture. And as you can see, wait, let me actually change to the surface so you guys can better see better. There it is. All right. Uh, I'm gonna increase the size here by a bit and maybe the depth value so we have more bumps in them and that is yeah I think I'll leave it with that so what you can basically do is you can play with the mid-level but that is basically nonsense um, I usually put like the strength to something like 0.8 because other than that that'd be too much in my eyes now I'm gonna give this a halo material and as you can see if my recording doesn't die well, give me one second there we go um, it looks absolutely horrendous so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the alpha to 0 0.01 or actually 0 0.01 and decrease the size as you can see if I the horizon color black horizon color you can see that we have a wonderful trap code we created a wonderful trap code and you can go to the compositing and do stuff yourself because i don't think compositing with this is really that hard uh, what you also could do for like a moving type of trap code is you could give this a planes wait what am i talking about you could uh, set the this texture coordinates here of the displace to an object, select the empty and then move it and then just keyframe it. So yeah, this is basically it for the basic particle and trap code tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed, uh, at least enjoyed it more than I did because this is literally killing my voice and it was a pretty horrible idea but yeah. I, I want to ask you guys like what type of particles and trap codes you want me to make a tutorial out of and I'll try to make my best to actually create it because I've been people have requested it but I've been wondering like what to really do and I really there, there, there weren't any specifications if you know what I'm talking about um yeah thanks for watching I hope you all have a nice day goodbye